If you own a home in Oregon, this is the truth about solar that no one's telling you about. This is the simplest math for solar. Let me show you the main two power companies in Oregon. We have PGE and Pacific Power, right? The last four years alone, PGE 11, 7, 18, five and a half percent, totaling 41% in four years, making that a 48%, almost 50% increase since 2022. Pacific Power, it's a, it's a little worse. We have 15, 21, 13, 9.8, and total 58.8% increase in total over those four years, making it a 78% increase because of the compounding effect since 2022. Let me ask you this. If there is a way to lock in your price that you're paying for power and then put an end date to paying for power on the home, would you do it? Because you're paying for power no matter what. Whether it's from PGE, Pacific Power, or going solar, you're going to pay for power. And what you're going to pay matters. But the real question is, was it costing you not to go solar? I know that's a little weird question, but I did some numbers. We have around an average of a $200 utility bill. And I calculated it with a 5% annual increase, which is, if you look over here, very modest. We had a 10% year after year increase from PGE in the last four years. And we had a 14% with Pacific Power. So 5% annual increase is pretty low. But let's just run through the numbers. So in five years, you're going to be paying $13,153. Remind you, this is all a loss. You're not getting anything out of this. This is just giving money to PGE to pay for the CEO's yacht, pretty much. So in 10 years, you're going to be spending $30,146, right? Year 20, 78 880. Now, I don't know about you, but this number scares me right here. $154,870 to the utility provider. What do you see out of that? So Luke, how, how does this all work? How, do, how does solar work for my house, right? We have the sun, the biggest fusion reactor in the sky there is. This thing comes every single day, leaves every single night, super reliable. That shines down on the panels. The panels are on your home then is turned into electricity that powers your home, powers your dishwasher, powers your washing machine, powers the lights, right? And then it is transferred into the meter. You probably seen the meter on the side of your house, right? Now that meter goes forward and backwards. So the electricity that you produce and you overproduce that you're not consuming through your household objects like your washing machine and, you know, charging your phones, any overproduction of your power goes backwards through the meter. And with this entire system, you'll be saving money. At the end of the day, it's just saving money. This allows you to go on those vacations in the summer and the winter when those power bills spike because the AC and the heating, you're gonna be saving that money. You can get more Christmas gifts for your children. You can go on to that summer cruise that you wanted to do. It's really just about saving money. Now, let me, let me really break it down, right? You have a power bill, no matter what. Let's just say, for this happenstance, make it even, it's $200. $200 that you're paying the power company. Right now, there's two options. Option one, which you're probably currently doing, is you're paying the utility company. Negative money every single month. Every single month, you pay them for your power. You don't know how much you're gonna pay them until the very end of the month where they send you a statement, right? And you're gonna pay the utility company you have a 0% return on that. What I mean by that is the utility company is not gonna give you anything of value back from that other than the power, right? That's not increasing your property value. That's not giving you any return. They're not gonna give you money from that, right? So to recap, you're paying them every single month, no matter what. You have no return on your investment whatsoever. And to reward their customer loyalty for you, they're gonna increase your price annually. Every single year, another increase is gonna roll out. PGE in January, Pacific Power every six months. Your second option is to go solar. Now with solar, this money that you're putting towards your solar system is increasing the value of your home. So when I say there's an instant ROI, it's just because that money is going to the value of your home. You're already gaining a return on your investment. No return on your investment, return on your investment. Now. Zillow, everybody knows Zillow, right? They did their own independent study back in 2019 that shows 
a four to 8% increase in value for your home when you have solar. And to top it off, they saw a 20% faster sale rate for homes with solar. Recap real quick, $200, you either have a negative ROI and you're giving money to utility every single month, or that $200 going back into your home as equity. This is the simplest math for solar. Talk about qualifying for solar. Yes, not all homes qualify. Not everyone qualifies. There is three major factors to qualify for the solar program. You have to be the homeowner. You have to have taxable income to receive the tax credit and your credit score has to be over 650. Now those are just the main three qualifiers for the program. Obviously, roof space and shading have effect on the program, but that's why we build you out a report because you don't even know that until we can do an analysis on your roof, which is free by the way. Let's end it with some frequently asked questions. And this is what I get a lot from most of the homeowners out there. So if you have any other questions, just message me below. How much is the tax credit? Right now, it's 30%. 30% federal tax credit for going renewable. That's 30% of the entire system cost. This is the highest tax credit solar has ever seen, making it more affordable to everyone. And right now, as of June 4th, they're trying to take it away by the end of this year, 2025. So in 2026, they're trying to take it away. Now, if you get into the program now and you get pre-approval now, you're grandfathered in and you get that tax credit. So that's why there's a huge push right now to go solar. Luke, what if I move? I'm not planning on staying here 30 years. I'm not gonna see the benefits. I understand. Everybody kind of moves within like five years on average. And that's why they made this program available. All it does is transfer. Luke, doesn't solar put holes in my roof? Why would I want holes in my roof? The short answer is, yeah, it does. But I bet you if you walked outside to the edge of your road and you looked at your roof, you would see a ton of holes in your roof. Your entire roof line has vents on it. You have a dryer vent, you have a bathroom vent. There's holes in your roof. That's why you hire a solar company that also does roofing. We do roofing as well, so you don't have to worry about that. It's the same process as if you were to put a new vent in your roof, how you lift shingles up, put the material on the mounting bracket below, put it down, there's no water damage. And on top of that, we have a 10 year workmanship warranty that covers anything we touch on the roof. Look, come on, dude, this is Oregon we're talking about. There's clouds for like six months of the year. Is there even enough sun for solar panels to work? And that's where the net metering comes in. You get credited through the long producing days that we have in Oregon. We have those extra long days in the summer because we're in the Northern hemisphere and we overproduce a ton. And that gets credited back to you to use in the winter. That's how we go about having solar up here. It still makes sense, it's still saving you money. Do you also do batteries? Yeah, that, that's an added on feature. Now if you want, we could discuss battery options. Batteries are amazing for homes. In conclusion, solar is just simply about saving money. So if you wanna break the handcuffs and the chains that you're under through your utility provider, and you want to take back control and have that freedom of not having to pay massive increases every single year and just go to a fixed rate that stays the same with an end date, fill in the information below and I'll contact you or text SOLAR to 503-899-9849.